Hello everyone. Good afternoon. It's afternoon. You might be viewing this in the morning. So good morning, good evening, whatever it may be for you. Um, my name is Clay Ramage. Welcome to my channel. We uh, have a haul video today that I'm going to do. And uh, this is a Goodwill haul. I went to a local Goodwill store and found a few things that I thought were fairly nice. So, uh, and basically what it is, is I pick up items for resale. I have an eBay store, which is listed down below. If you want to check that out. And I also list a few things on Facebook Marketplace um, and uh, sell locally. Or I sell, you know, if you see stuff you like and you'll contact me through um, YouTube, my email. Um, we can work out a deal for something that you like as well. So if you like this kind of content, you can subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit that thumbs up button, the like button, and uh, we can go from there. So there's all that little... Uh, technical stuff out of the way. Um, so let's get right into the haul. So one of the first things when I walked in, they have these bins that they have when they're, you know, to put stuff out. One of the first things I saw was this plate. And I could tell that it was a Judaica plate. Obviously, it's got a lot of Jewish symbols on it, uh, Passover related items. And so then I flipped it over to the back. And it's a Gable, a German porcelain manufacturer, so it's high quality. Look at the price, only $1.99. I was really surprised when I saw the price. Um, and this was dated 1980. It's a limited edition. This plate number 2,557 of 10,000 of them. So there's 10,000 of these plates out there. So they're not real rare, but they are quite valuable. Um, the ones I looked up on eBay just quickly while I was at the store um, were $75 on up. So... Now, most of those had their original box. This just came like this. Um, but still, it's in perfect condition. No scratches, no chips. The uh, gold is perfect. You can tell there's holes to hang it. So this was just an awesome, awesome find. So we'll uh, list that out there and see what we can do. And besides, it's just a beautiful plate. I just love the plate. The design is very well done. Um, and this stuff is still in the newspapers from being wrapped up so another thing I found was this mug I just like the bird the artistic quality of the bird put on the mug um, it's like a creamer not really a drinking mug but more of like a water pitcher or creamer it's a very large creamer because it's cream um, but on the bottom it's Greg Matthews um, by Ogetti um, and this the sticker says Sri Lanka is where this was made and there is one tiny chip, but you can't see it from up above. It's right on the rim of the base, so you can't see it when it's sitting down. And there are a few tiny little scratches. But today happened to be green tag 50% off. So even though it's listed for $2.99, I paid $1.50 for it. Um, but other than that, there's no chips along the rim or the handle. And the, uh, the uh, color on the sides is all in excellent shape as well. So, so that's a good deal. Um, there are no comparables anywhere that I could find, so it'll kind of be, um, yeah, guesswork as to what I want to price it at and try to sell it for. Um, guess what? I found a Starbucks mug. Yep. And this one is the Twin Cities, which is where I live. I should have it out here. Twin Cities. Um, Starbucks mug, $1.99. I picked it up. I actually think I'm going to give it to a friend of mine who has quite a few of these. Don't know if he has the Twin Cities yet, so... He'll be getting one if he doesn't. And if he has it, well, then I'll sell it. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? All right, this mug, picked up another coffee, uh, mug, I'm just going to call it. And yes, it's got a little seal, or it's hard to tell if it's a seal or a walrus. Almost looks like a walrus, but I can't, I don't see necessarily fangs, but I, he, the face is more walrusy than sealy. That makes sense. I'm making words up. Um, again, dollar ninety nine. This particular Goodwill, all their mugs are dollar ninety nine, or two ninety nine, or three ninety nine on some of them. I don't know why they think they're so valuable, but it's probably because they sell them. Um, but the it says creature cups on the bottom. There's a number of these out there. Again, this mug is in perfect condition. Uh, very plain on the outside, and then you got the creature on the inside. They had some cool ones with octopus, or you know other creatures in there. And I picked this up because I was watching Texas Gal Treasures one day 
and she um, was talking about her, well, I watched her mug video on what mugs to watch out for, and she had mentioned that many of them with the little figures inside, characters, animals, um, do fairly well. So I picked it up. We'll see how well again. Again, it's like a $12 mug, which a lot of these are. And then the last, no, it's not the last thing, but another thing I picked up was this tray. It's a vanity tray for your bathroom. It's very ornate, very pretty. This was $5, which is more than I usually pay for these things. But this is actually for personal use, not for resale, because in our master bathroom, my wife currently has a little tray, gold tray, um, but it's a plastic tray. And we can't have plastic like that. No, sir, we're going to go the real vanity tray. So I bought this for her. So we'll switch out her few items on there and uh, use that. So that was $5, like I said. And then I bought two of these clear fronted containers um because with all my ebay stuff i'm trying to get it more organized and sorted so i'm actually going to use these on these shelves and then i can stack the two together and see what's in there and i'll put a label on there to list what i put in there as well so so those will help get me organized which i always need help getting organized seems like because just as soon as i get my area my office everything all clean organized put away then of course i buy more stuff and it comes in and it starts piling up <laughs> isn't that life so many times but anyway that's our haul for today um thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time bye